News 7x7 is a unique channel dedicated to the news from dairy industry. Every week you receive brief on top 7 dairy news on this YouTube channel from India and abroad. These news could be seen in detail on our channel dairynews7x7.com also. You may write in the comment box on the dairy topics of your interest. We will try to develop news feature on the same. Your constant feedback and patronage to this channel is our source of... Top 7 dairy news from the week of November 27th will cover... Milk production estimated at 230.58 million tons in FY23. Natural livestock farming to reduce antibiotic use in dairy sector. Dairy farmers pour milk at Indapur on Pune Solapur Highway. A farmer's fate, living in hope or perishing in despair. Katras Dairy slashes milk prices by rupees 2 per litre for consumers. Researchers look to transform manure into protein and plans to present meat as Sustainable Nutrition at COP28 Revealed Here comes the news of the week. Union Minister Shri Rupala informed that the total milk production in the country is estimated at 230.58 million tons during 22-23, registered a growth of 22.81% over the past 5 years which was 187.75 million tons in 2018-19. Further, the production has increased by 3.83% during 22-23 over the estimates of 21-22. In past, the annual growth rates were 6.47% in 2018-19, 5.69% in 19-20, 5.81% in 20-21 and 5.77% in 21-22. Minister stated that the highest milk producing state during 22-23 was Uttar Pradesh with a share of 15.72% of total milk production followed by Rajasthan at 14.44%, Madhya Pradesh 8.73%, Gujarat 7.49% and Andhra Pradesh 6.7%. In terms of annual growth rate, the highest AGR recorded by Karnataka 8.76%, followed by West Bengal 8.65% and Uttar Pradesh 6.99% over the previous year. In the worldwide quest for dairy modernization, the focus on crossbreeding and productivity increase of dairy cattle has besides enhanced milk production also resulted in high use of agrochemicals. The use of antibiotics for common cattle diseases such as udder infection and diarrhea is widespread. This contributes to the global threat of antimicrobial resistance AMR. Since 2014, farmers, livestock scientists and veterinarians from Ethiopia, Uganda, India and the Netherlands have joined forces under the umbrella of the Natural Livestock Farming Foundation NLF. NLF improves cattle health on basis of the NLF 5 layered approach comprising appropriate management of animals, farms and soils, strategic use of local breed strategic crossbreeding, ethno-veterinary practices EVP use of herbs and natural products, food quality improvement and control and better farm income through cost reduction and direct marketing. Farmers in Indapur in Maharashtra took to the street, staging a protest on the Pune-Solapur National Highway to demand fair pricing for milk and support for the agricultural sector. The farmers poured milk on the highway and blocked the road, symbolizing their distress over the declining prices of milk. Speaking to the media highlighted the continuous fall in milk prices, which has now dropped from Rs 35 to Rs 25 per litre, causing significant financial losses to milk producers. The protest aims towards the government to take action against both government and private milk projects that fail to pay the guaranteed rate fix for milk. The farmers presented a list of demands including fixing the milk rate at Rs 40 per litre, establishing fodder depots for animals, starting a veterinary clinic in every village, initiating a free insurance cover scheme for animals and establishing a milk rate value commission. Kolakar native M.R. Albert 73 committed suicide in Kerala on the day after the National Milk Day. He had served as the president of Kolakar Dairy Cooperative Society for 25 years. He had to give his life because of a paltry Rs 2 lakh loan from Kannur District Cooperative Bank. Farmer suicides are on the rise in Kerala. On November 10, a farmer named K.G. Prasad from Alapuza Thakzi died after consuming poison. In his suicide note, he blamed the government for leaving him in debt. A few days after Prasad's suicide, Thomas Elias Joy, a dairy farmer in Vyanand, found hanging from a tree. His relatives said that he had accumulated a debt of over Rs 10 lakh. 
Farmer suicide in the US have risen since the 1980s with over 1500 Midwest farmers taking their lives. This mirrors a global crisis. In Australia a farmer dies by suicide every 4 days. In the UK one farmer a week takes their own life and in France it is one every 2 days. Since 1995 more than 2 lakh 70000 farmers in India have died by suicide. Poverty does not shame the people who are affected by it. Poverty shames society. Katraj Milk Union in Pune has decided to reduce the price of its stone milk sold in pouches by rupees 2 per liter from December 1st. 1 liter milk pouches will now be available at rupees 53. Also 250 gram packs of extra protein milk will now be priced at rupees 12. Over the last few weeks dairy farmers in Maharashtra are on the streets protesting against low procurement price for milk paid to them by dairies. At present milk with 3.5% fat and 8.5% SNF is being purchased at rupees 28 to 39 per liter as against the earlier rates which were above rupees 20. Farmers have asked for government intervention to ensure they get a proper price for their produce. Cooperative dairy said the excess milk is being converted into SMP but the low prices of the commodity in international market are a hindrance to exporting it can you turn manure into a cow chicken or fish texas a&m agri life research scientists are looking to do just that in a roundabout circular economy kind of way a 3 year 618000 dollar grant from the us department of agriculture national institute for food and agriculture is funding a study by scientists in the texas a&m college to explore dairy manure cleanup via black soldier flies the team would then examine the flies value as a potential ingredient in livestock poultry and aquaculture field the project will concentrate on both environmental health and economic benefits of converting dairy waste into protein that could be used for feed early data indicate probiotics could be used to accelerate the digestive process in fed animals increase conversion of waste to insect biomass decrease greenhouse gases and noxious odors and reduce concerns about pathogens that might be present in the manure big meat companies and lobby groups are planning a large presence at the cop 28 climate conference equity with the communication plan to get a pro meat message heard by policy makers throughout the summit the documents which were produced by the industry funded global meat alliance gma emphasize the industry's desire to promote our scientific evidence at the summit earlier this year backlash from several countries with interest in meat led to wa- the watering down of the intergovernmental panel on climate change recommendation on diets australia and the us are the second and third largest beef exporter globally and after brazil and their governments have a strong economic interest in supporting the growth of these industries as well as close political ties with them a study this year found that in the eu meat and dairy farmers receive 1200 times more public funding than new alternative protein sources while in the us they received 800 times more support thanks for watching dairy news 7x7 channel with news update from last 7 days to continue receiving update from this channel i kuldeep sharma request you to subscribe this channel and share and like the video and also don't forget to press the bell icon Thank you.